Hello everyone, so today's video is a bit of a follow-up on the video I made telling you to make a video and that sounded extremely odd. I made a video where I said whenever you write your introduction, where you, whether you have an introduction on Upwork or Translators Cafe, Prolos.com, even when you're sending your pitch email, you know, your email to uh, try to get a job and we're explaining what you do maybe along with the resume, you should always have a video. Either put the video up there or else just a link to YouTube because everyone trusts YouTube and they know what YouTube is with a short video and it doesn't have to be something difficult. You can record it straight from your phone or from the computer and uh, you can just talk and introduce yourself. It goes a long way for transparency and for letting people feel like they get to know you. And the issue that came up was basically like you can create a video but you're not sure if the quality is any good or maybe you create a couple videos and when you feel is more natural one is more professional, one is more laid back, you know, which one's best and which one works best and which one should, should you be using. And uh, so I just wanted to address that. If you're not sure about which video to use or maybe about the quality of the video or which one would uh, work best in, in whatever situations, then my suggestion would be to uh, switch them up. Basically use one video for one week or for X number of proposals, say, you know, for the next 50 proposals you send out, you use one video. And then for the 50 proposals after that, you use another video. And, uh, and after that, kind of tally up and say, okay, which one seems to have worked better? Did I get more response from one than from another? Maybe not even final jobs, but did I get people to reply back and more interaction from one email, you know, from one type of video than from another one? And, uh, and at that point, you can evaluate. You shouldn't try to do you know, if you have two videos that you're not sure about, try them both. You shouldn't try to guess which one will be best because why guess when you can, you know, it's more scientific to actually try it and to actually have prospective clients look at it and see which one gets a better response. And quite frankly, you, you never know, you know, so one of the videos they might even comment or, you know, they might say they're like, oh, great video, or that's really cool that you put a video up or that, you know, you really differentiated yourself by putting that video up. If that's the case, that's probably the video you want to use. Um, and if, a, but if a video on the other hand kind of gets no, like no one's gonna say anything bad about a video. No one's gonna say that was a crummy video you had. But if you get no response from a video and, and if you don't get any response from one video, but you get some, you get good response from another, obviously that's the one you should be using uh, rather than the one you get no response from. And so test it out and try to do some what they call A-B testing. Test one video and then test, test another one and see which one works. You try to make it fair. That's why I say a week for one or a week for the other. Or yeah, even better, 50 proposals for one, 50 proposals for the other. So you know that it's, uh, they're getting the same amount of airplay, let's say. You know, the same number of chances to be seen. That way you can take it from there. And maybe when you have a winning video, maybe a bit later on you wanna record a new video and you record a new one and rather than just replacing it, do the same thing. You know, try both videos for a bit and see and maybe your old one still works best or maybe the new one works best and you can take it from there and, uh, and try to get an idea and hone in on the best type of video to use. Because again, it's not hard to make a video it's very easy. You can do it with your laptop or with your phone and you can just have a minute long video. Honestly, the briefer, the better. People don't want to sit down for too long, and but just something that briefly introduces you. And so, you know, over time, you can work on making it better, but you should have a video from the beginning. And then while you have it up there, work on it and try to get it better using this A-B testing uh, system that, that I mentioned here. Um, so yeah, so I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you do try this and how it works out for you because I'd really love to hear about it. And otherwise, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.